Hi, I'm Joe Hupsey, and I'm here with Dr. Kirsten Etter of the University of Bristol, who teaches a course on functional verification. So, Dr. Etter, maybe tell, tell us a little bit about yourself and the course and, and how it all got started. I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Bristol in computer science, mm -hmm. and I conduct research in design automation verification, mainly focused on microelectronics, but now also expanding into the area of robotics. At the early stages of my career, I had the opportunity to work as a design verification engineer in the local Bristol area and also further abroad in Europe. Mm -hmm. And that gave me a fantastic opportunity to transfer the knowledge that I've gained working alongside world-leading design verification teams back into the university. So in 2002, I introduced an advanced unit on design verification at the university into a computer science curriculum. Terrific. Terrific. Now, um, how does the course work? What are the topics that you cover? You know, things like that. The topics I'm covering are quite comprehensive. We're starting from an introduction to verification, why is mm -hmm. it worth our while, covering verification planning as a spec for the verification process, then looking into simulation-based verification because very many designs in industry are still done using simulation. Mm -hmm. and. In particular there, I'm looking at advanced techniques such as constrained pseudo-random test generation, advanced checking, coverage, assertion-based verification. I've also now got coverage of formal verification, including a live demo of a formal verification tool so that students get good experience of what it actually means to use a formal verification tool, what state-of-the-art tools can provide and also you know, the meaning of a counterexample. When does it provide your counterexample? How does it work? What can it do for you? And then finally, we're looking at how the verification activities fit into an overall design flow. Terrific. Now, um, you know, what are the qualities that make a good verification engineer? Well, they have to be a bit of a detective. They have to develop a good understanding of the architecture, the design and the implementation, which means they have to be at home on three different levels of abstraction. And that requires quite a broad but also a deep knowledge mm -hmm. of quite a large part of the system stack. They also need to know how to program. Programming is key to being an effective and efficient user of high level verification languages. So that is really, really important. And and they have to be good communicators. So they have to speak to architects, designers, um, implementers, and ask the right questions at the right time, and not be shy of asking these questions. So diplomatic as well. So you hit on something that I, I think is pretty important for, for people in verification, is that to realize and appreciate it's actually the harder task. It's harder than design, and in industry now, people are really being confronted with both, right? That's exactly right. So I've got students which are now finishing their degrees and they're applying for jobs. And many of them apply for design jobs. Mm -hmm. So one of them recently gave me interesting feedback because he went for an interview for a design job. Okay. And that interview contained a test with 50% of the questions focused on design and the other half focused on verification. Okay. And because he's done my course, he said himself that he's been flying through those questions on verification. And in the end, he got offered a job on design verification. Sure. And the interviewers expressed a real surprise that a fresh grad has such a deep and broad knowledge of verification topics. So that basically means the course works. People are entering the workforce where I wanted them to enter, which, which is interesting and, and, and really good. And that's where the jobs are. That seems where the demand is. I know we get asked all the time for, for verification uh, consulting and that sort of thing. It's certainly the case that the knowledge of there being a lack of skills in this area motivates students because they're looking for well-paid and intellectually challenging jobs, jobs where they can showcase all the skills they've learned at university. And students are very much focused on that. And quite a few of our students actually go into the local design industry as verification engineers. Terrific. Well, Dr. Edder, thanks for sharing uh, the information of the course and thanks for your time. Thank you very much.